Pascal's law. Pascal's law is pressure applied on one point of liquid in closed vessel transmit equally in all directions. So if you look at this picture here, so this is the point. Um, let's say it's the closed vessel. It's inside this vessel we have got water. So now if we apply the pressure here at this point, it will transmit an equal amount of pressure in all directions. So we know from the theories that if we have a point, then if we apply the pressure this way, this way, this way, so the pressure on, an, on a specific point, it will be equal. So that we know if we, we just probed already. So this is P1, P2, P3 and P4. So according to the theories, we know this all this pressure will be same. So let's try to understand. The Pascal said if we apply the pressure here, it will transmit equal amount of pressure in all directions. So now we'll try to understand actually what's the application of this. So let's say this is a, um, a U-shaped tube. We have the piston here. So let's say this is a piston. This is the smaller piston. Okay. And we have got a large piston here. So these two pistons uh, actually, this, let's say this is airtight piston. Now we have the liquid here. So we have got a car. We actually want to lift this car. So what we'll do is, you see, if we apply a moderate amount of force from here, F on, so if we apply this force F on, so then force is acting this way, this downward directions. Then what will be the pressure? We applied the force. So what will be the pressure? We know the force equal pressure into area. That means we can say this pressure, pressure equal force over area, right? So now if we apply the force F on here, and we said for this smaller piston area is A1, this larger piston area is A2. So that means it will be the P1, P1 it will be F1 over A1. So that means this is actually this F1 over A1, this is actually the pressure. So we got due to this moderate force, we got this pressure F1 A1. Now according to the, you know, the Pascal's law, if we apply this amount of pressure here, it will transmit an equal amount of equal amount of pressure here on this piston, the larger piston. So that means the pressure at this section, this piston, it will be F1 over A1. And if we say we are getting the force F2 here, then what is the force definition? Force is pressure into area. So let's say this is the pressure F1 A1 into A2. So that means you see we have got A2 times pressure at this case. So for A1 we had the pressure at this and in this case for this larger piston we have got it is just A2 times. So we applied a moderate amount of force and we have got a significant amount of force just for this section. So due to the Pascal principle you see a moderate amount of force is just becoming a large amount and that actually helping to you know we can easily lift this car, a heavy vehicle. So based on this principle, you see all of this actually system actually works on these principles. So a small system, you see how effective it is in real life. So we'll discuss a bit more during the lecture.